Now we're up to the M3 block. M3 is a modified block, so we're going to go to the booklet, and they've just made these a little wider, and the, the essence of the block is still the same, but we are going to work from this. From the assembly standpoint, this has got some options, but for my purposes, I'm going to start with the center square, and then let's take this piece here, this strip, and this strip and attach it to this triangle. So then these three pieces are going to be a unit. So I'm going to make this unit on each side and then I'm going to attach it to the center square and they're going to attach here as well. So then we're going to end up with this star, this four pointed star. I'm going to then put the diamonds on and then make this shape here. I think it's an octagon and um, then I will attach these one at a time. So again, I'm going to take this center, use this three as a unit, and then once I form this unit, attach it to the center with the diamonds and all this. I have my pieces laid out. I've got a stripe for my focus fabric, which I've chosen to radiate from the center, and then it's lined up here, so it's going to have an interesting look. But um, Basting wise, squares are opposite sides and opposite sides. For this, I'm going to baste this short side first and then the longer side so that my tags go in towards the, ha the square to take them out of play of here. For these, I always baste the short sides first and then the long sides. And for these, I do opposite and then opposite. I'm going to try to possibly make these tags go this way and this way, but we'll see how that works out at the end of the day. Basting for this, I'm going to do this first. Actually, I'm going to do this first because it's the sharpest. It's got to have the sharpest corner for this particular angle, but I'm going to do this so that then when I do these, my tags go away. So actually, I'm not going to do this first. I am going to do this first and so my tags go away so I don't have to worry about tags interfering here because this is going to be a short little inner or a short little seam underneath this like this. So the first thing I'm going to do I will base my square and then I will baste three pieces of one unit and assemble it as I go around. I've basted my center square and I've basted three pieces of this unit I've done this side first so my tags go in the, into the center and then I've done the short sides and then I did this little, sh this little, the shorter of the two longer sides first and that's, I get the tags that go like that. So I'm going to attach this, that's not correct, there we go, that's going to be like this. So the, the shorter of the two goes away from the triangle and then you end up with this. I've connected this one already so that this is going to meet this is a little off, not by much. So the points are going to meet here, and then everything comes to a point here. And um, then I'm going to attach them to my center square. So I'm going to get to making my units and attaching them to the center. So I've got all of the triangle units assembled, and now I will attach it to my center square. So I've attached two of the four to my center square. When I attach the next one, I am going to not only attach it here, but I'm going to attach it on this edge. So what I'm going to do, my seam is going to go from, where's my thingy? There it is. My seam is going to go start here, and then it's going to go like this. But as, as always, I'm going to start at one end and st stitch to about here, tie off, and then I'll start over here to ensure that the ends line up properly. So I've got all of my triangle units attached to my center square and this is the funky shape I have now. Now I'm going to take my diamonds and base them and attach them into this slot here making sure that I line up these with this. 
So I basted my diamond and now I will tape it and attach it into its space. I've attached my diamond and so I've got my flower going this way. These have the flower coming out from the center here so I want to make sure that I've getting my flower I'm going to go around in a circle so I want to make sure that my this one's going up and you know that kind of thing so I'm going to go ahead and attach the rest of my diamonds I've got all my diamonds attached around the centerpiece and so this is what I have now and I've got my flowers that are going circular and then these are coming out alright now I've got this whole center section done now I have to add the pieces around it. I have a couple of decisions to make. I can do this individually and just add a piece, add a piece, add a piece, add a piece. The issue I have though is that this does not line up with anything other than this point and this point is not exact on the piece because it's an obtuse angle so it's a little harder to get to. This is the same thing there's not a line it doesn't line up with this it's not like this goes like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair these up so that this makes a corner and then I'm going to attach the pairs to each corner that way at least I know that they're gonna be straight to each other as they go on I don't want to have it where this is slightly like this and this is slightly, you know, I don't want to have a V. It'll probably work out if I do it individually, but I think I'm going to have better accuracy if I do it two at a time. So I'm going to take two pieces and base them. I'm going to do this side first, and then this, I think I'll do this kind of a thing, and then rotate around. Um, and then the same thing here. I want to make sure that my tags go away from this center. So I'm going to make sure that this is one of the last things I do. I'll see how it goes. Um, and then I'm going to attach this on this edge here because it's a nice long edge and it's a 45 degree angle. So I'll be able to get that together. And then I'll be able to attach it to my center piece and attach it to here. Even though it's still not accurate, I can line this up here on this point to make sure that things come together correctly. So I'm going to put two together and uh, see how that goes. I've got my pieces basted. I basted this little short side first and then I did this long side. Then I did this and then this so that I get my tags going away from this center seam. And then I sewed this one together. So this is what you should have is these pieces like that. This is going to end up going on this section here but for now I'm just going to make these um, so that I can attach them after I'm done making the pairs. I've got all of these put into pairs and so now it's a matter of attaching them. When I lined it up earlier I had it wrong. I had it here but actually the point, this is the point on this on this triangle so I'm going to put these like so and I'm going to start at one end and work to about here to keep it attached where I need it and then I'll come back to the other end and finish it up. When I get to this area here I want to make sure that I really get my X in there. That X stitch that pulls this closed is going to really help this stay even with this seam so that way I can get a nice crisp point right in here. So I've attached my first corner. My first attempt at the point is not exactly perfect but I'm going to leave it alone. It'll even out when I quilt it. Right now it's real rigid because it's being pulled by the papers and I will just chalk this up to experience and try to do better on the other corners. So let me get to let me get to attaching those. So I've attached the rest of my corners. They're not the greatest. They don't match as exactly. This one is probably the closest one I can see, but whatever, it's done. So now my M3 block has been completed.